the first trade. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. And she's stoked to get the second one. That's a good one, too. Okay, time is a pain in the butt because you got the little stick and the leaves. The little stick isn't edible, but the little leaves are. So the trick is, like, you get, I'll show you on one of these long ones. You just hold it at the top and you kind of pinch it and you pull and it all comes off like that. So you get the extra branches and stuff. Yeah, then you get the extra branches and stuff. But like the soft, the really flexible part at the top, that's edible. But when it gets fibrous, like down at the bottom, that's not edible. You, I mean, you can put it in your mouth and you can chew it and you can pass it, but it won't hurt you, but don't, you know? Yeah, it's no good. It's not good. It's not where your flavor is hiding in. No. But this stuff is like super strong since it's fresh. Well, fresh spices have more flavor than dry spices. So like if you cook with a lot of bay leaf, and it's dry bay leaf, you usually use like four or five or whatever. But if it's fresh, you really only need like two. I think we're good on time, though. Cool. We got plenty of time. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we got the pan heating up because you don't put anything in the cold pan. There's a little bit of oil. It'll stick. It'll stick, and you don't want that. Get out the salt. I'm like, they should have been on the counter. Cool. Oh, yeah. This is something else I'd like to do. We keep, like, the Parmesan containers and whatever. We do, like, a lot of, like, dried onion that you can get from, like, Walmart. And then we get the Hello, My Name Is stickers. And we buy bulk spices from, like, the Asian grocery store for super cheap. And you just fill them up in these. We have a couple of more empty containers if you need more. Cool. There's still a few more empty ones in there. Yeah. All right. Water's going. Pan's hot. Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna put the shallots in. You oil your pan already? Yeah. Do you use butter or oil? I use oil. So if it doesn't sizzle, it's not hot enough. Some salt. It seems like a lot, but this doesn't come out very fast. And like the difference between like home cooks and like the pros is we season stuff. Generously. Okay, so there's that. Then we take our rabbit. This is like loin. And then we have the flaps, which are the belly. And since rabbit is as lean as rabbit is, this is going to cook like stupid quick. I mean, it's got like no interstitial fat. It's all more like protein. There's no marbling. Yeah, there's no marbling. But you have these little bitty like side pieces that are going to go. Yeah, they are. They get loose and quick. You don't want to over crowd the pan, but you want to get everybody in there. You want to get this like trail of steam looking for <laughs> You want to do it quick. Cool. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. The shallots are getting a little dark, and when you overcook them, they go bitter. It's okay for some stuff, but not for that. Yeah, not for that. Excuse me, Mel. Excuse me. I dropped the way up with the. Shallots crazy awesome because you don't want to like get a whole onion because you're not going to use like a giant onion. You just get like one or two shallots at like Walmart for like two dollars. It's nice substitute. That's what I do. And they taste, it's almost like a, they're kind of garlicky. Yeah, they're really good. I like shallots. I'm really glad I discovered them. <laughs> you know more about food now than you did like two years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This one is yeah. awesome. I do all sorts of cool stuff. Okay, Doki. Can you see this, baby? Mm-hmm. I'll switch sides with you. Okay. So, all the brown bits on the bottom of the pan that look burnt, that's called fawn. That's where your flavor lives. So what you want to do is you want to deglaze and give it a little shimmy. And then the bottom of your pan's clear. All of those flavor bits are now in the pan. And now you're cooking with flavor and wine. And this will go stupid quick because the alcohol is going to cook off. So this is a pretty good time to add some rabbit stock. Generously. Cool. 
Now we wait. Let's talk about something. Yeah. So you didn't read 23. East to West 23. Yeah, I haven't read that one yet. But you read 22. I think so. Well, so. Madomo. Yeah. Yeah. Domo is cool. Domo is cool. I think it's funny that her name's Domo and she has the the eye like the domino thing. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't Domo mean thank you? Like Japanese? Yeah, but she's not Asian, I don't think. No, but she works for uh, House of Mao. Yeah, but I mean, I'm like, I'm too they're, close. they're the only people that know that. Kitties! What? My Phoebe's. You don't think anybody in the Endless Nation even suspects after they hung out the whole time? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Jess. I don't think the nation got to where it was by uh, not being careful. Yeah. Uh -huh. Observant. They got those What's robots that, like, figured stuff out. Like the phone. other floating balloons that aren't balloons. Yeah. <coughs> you got distracted. It's okay. I just happened to notice it. Fresh pasta does not take very long. Like it takes 10 minutes for dried pasta, but this is going to go crazy fast. It's like stir. Stir it down. I mean, it's a lot more expensive because it's it's a lot of eggs. Yeah. But it tastes better. And you can get chickens. They're not that expensive. Mm -hmm. Just raise a couple of chickens. Raise a couple of chickens. Right. You can't have them in the city limits, though. We can't have them in town. No, no, no chickens, no goats. No chickens, no goats. You can hide chickens in your basement? Yeah. They have basements. Well, I guess I'm not now. I'm not a big fan of just putting random green stuff like in food for no reason. The parsley and rabbit could really well together. Yeah. That's gonna be good. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. That's done. That's all cooked eggs. Just what? Are you gonna ice that? Just rinse it? Like, I'm assuming I'm the Cause we're gonna finish it off in the pan. Yeah. yeah, if you rinse your pasta after you cook it, it won't stick together. But you gotta rinse it really good. And like with rice, if you rinse your rice before you cook it, it won't stick when it's done. But you gotta rinse it really good. Before you cook it? Yeah, before you cook it, yeah. Cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, like when I do rice at work and it looks good, and then when the other people have to do rice at work and it looks like crap, it's because I rinse mine. Oh. You rinse it a lot. A lot. So the water is like completely clear because yeah, it like, comes up cloudy in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like 30 minutes, you gotta cook, you gotta rinse rice. Like put a grate on it and run water? Or? Yeah, just run water and it floats it's bad. Oh. It all sinks to the bottom. Oh, cool. But you want to rinse it off until. Yeah. Kind of like potatoes, or blanching. Yeah. Well, I do it at home. I fill the container that it's got a strainer thing on top of it with the rice and water, and I dump it and refill. Oh. And I do it because I don't want to run water for thirty minutes at home. Fair enough. I know he at work he doesn't care, but at home we don't pay the water bill at work. Exactly. We don't. It's crazy. We have a deal for that. Pretty cool. I didn't know we didn't have a water bill at work. What? Yeah. Normal restaurants pay water bills, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's the hotel thing. Yeah. They probably got some deal with the city to. Yeah. So, how many others do you have to go down before you get to rabbit on the white meat list? Like, Pigs the other white meat, babies the other other white meat. Where's <laughs> <laughs> rabbit fall? That's horrible. I don't know. I'm sure it's pretty far down. Okay, so we're going to crank that even more up. And we're going to cook this down until it's nice and thick. 
or th thicker than it is now. Then we're going to hit it with some butter, and that's going to be our sauce for our pasta. It smells good. It does smell good in here. This is really hot. And the thing about you have meat with low fat, right? Like chicken and rabbit and everything, pork, is as long as you braise it, it doesn't really go dry because you're kind of cooking it in liquid, right? Yeah. Like uh, the chicken you get at Chipotle is not dry, is it? No. All right, and it's braised. Yeah, if I braise it and then throw it on the grill a little bit. Oyster going in there. This looks delicious. One more. I think one more, two more. This rough chop doesn't matter because it's for us. It's rustic. It's rustic. It's rabbit. Maybe the next video we'll do like the fancy. Bust out the tweezers. Bust out the tweezers. <laughs> the lady always gives me crap for the tweezers. Ethan gives me crap for the tweezers too, though. It's kind of like the running joke. Tweezers. Yeah, where were the other day we were eating and you're like, I yeah, well, yeah, we were eating. At the Mongolian barbecue. Yeah, the Mongolian barbecue. And after like the second trip to the buffet, I had like a fourth of a plate worth of stuff left, and it was just so good, and I just couldn't finish it. So I'm sitting there looking at it, and man, I wish I had my tweezers. I would have replated it and made it look nice. I want to go again. Can we go Friday for lunch? Yep. Sweet. Okay. I won't eat all day. Butter. Copious. So weird, tiny box of butter. <laughs> okay. Because we cook with pounds. Pounds. It's like, oh, get it, go get a stick of butter. That's oh, a pound that's at work. Right. We need... That's how my silverware drawer is. We're going to use this later. We'll just use this later. Yeah, that's the random utensil drawer. Well, that's the hot mess. The utensil drawer for us. Oh, we actually have silverware in another drawer that's semi-divided. All right. So the butter is going to thicken the sauce and... I mean, butter makes everything better. The pasta, when we say the pasta is good, it's al dente, or like a little bit above al dente, so it's not like squishy soft. So you have a little leeway to finish it in a sauce like this. And since, I mean, it's we're reheating the pasta, but in the same process, we're going to finish cooking the pasta. As soon as this butter melts, we'll throw this on some plates and we eat it. Oh, lemon. Hey, you have a whole lemon over here. Let's put some of that in there. Excuse me. That's okay. Is that it? Yeah. Seeds. Wow, that feels great in my uh, my blister that peeled the other day. Oh yeah. Getting the seeds out and let's put the whole thing in there. Make Yeah, I got a callus and then I got a blister and then my blister popped and it went into my callus. That feels great. Okay. Done with you.